The views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts and guests and not necessarily those of the staff and management of WWDB-TV. Hot topics, food, fun, entertainment, and serious business. Live Las Vegas with Ricky Cheese. Happy New Year 2019. Okay, I'm screaming early because this is a show all about taking a look at what was this year, what you can expect next year, and how you can shape your own experience of what the new year is going to bring. In just a few moments, we're going to be joined by Mystic Mona, who is just, she, I think we see her out there in the hallway. She's coming, but right now we're going to get started with a couple of our guests. We're going to squeeze Mona in as soon as she gets settled in. We're here with Debbie Donaldson, who is an entrepreneur. She is a mentor. She's a writer. She's got a new book and all kinds of cool things to look forward to in the new year. And, of course, we have Miss Michelle Chin. Chenchamino. Chenchamino. It's See, okay. Oh, good. Yeah, she's, <laughs> Michelle's good. She's always going to talk about, also going to talk about essential oils and how these, the smells and the oils themselves can help shape your future. And she's also a health and life coach and can talk about some plans looking forward to the new year. So we're going to get started with you as uh, Mona's like sliding in here. Yay. But Debbie, we're going to talk with you. This is It's been okay. a while since I've had you on the show. And the last time you were here, you had just launched your book, which is three. 65. Um, it's taking a look at just different spiritual practices, and you, you tied each one, each premise to a day of the year, and a way of women and, and men to track themselves and see what they're thinking, what they want, who they are. Now you have a new book that kind of takes another look at shaping your future when it comes to people who want to start their own businesses. Yes. Yes. Tell us about that. Well, uh, superpowers activated was yes. a, a, a wonderful book to and I I knew I wanted to launch a business uh -huh. but a, a book wasn't a business but it gave me the opening to talk to groups of seniors groups of entrepreneurs and throughout the year as I talked to people people would approach me later and and superpowers activated and and my website superpowers 365 are about our own internal strengths right. and I found that the people most interested in developing their strengths were business people and entrepreneurs yeah. uh, the groups of seniors were lovely to talk with <laughs> but they they weren't that interested in, so in self-development and so um, as I got to know more and more entrepreneurs in that way in, in helping them develop themselves and helping them uh, ca um, capture more business there were some common themes that I knew were helping everyone right. and so I put that into a book called sales fuel yes. almost every entrepreneur is looking to n develop themselves so that they can attract more business in right yeah. and so sales fuel kind of goes off of three premises that help a, a business owner really look at three different areas and I'm not going to go into them because okay. I want people to um, download my sure. free book they can sure. get it at freesalesfuel.com I don't charge for it is I'm sharing uh, proven techniques and techniques that I've used but they're all uh, captured in a way that's just a little bit different that's neat now this is something Michelle that I'm sure uh, appeals to you how did you get started you read the Terra essential oils how did you get started in this and what were you doing before you became an entrepreneur well actually long story short mm -hmm. i was formerly an attorney um, <laughs> which is crazy it feels like another lifetime but um i was doing that and um i started having children and my oldest child was diagnosed with a respiratory condition called cystic fibrosis mm -hmm. um, I kind of just went on a journey to try and figure out how I could help her I didn't like what I was reading about the outcome for this disease and I was frankly terrified mm -hmm. um, and so I started researching natural alternatives what can I do do we change her nutrition do we need a chiropractor do we need an acupuncturist I just I gained so much knowledge over the years of researching that by the time my children got older I decided I had so much to share 
share, and I thought that I could really be helpful to people um, in their own lives and their struggles. So I decided, all right, I'm going to become certified as a holistic health coach. So that's what I did. Um, around that same time, someone introduced me to essential oils, and I started using them on my family. My daughter, in particular, was always my little guinea pig, so she was very willing. Um, and we started seeing amazing results um, with these oils in particular, um, breathe oil, um, oils that help um, with the immune response in the body. Um, just there's so much support for the body. Wow. Every body system can be supported by essential oils from emotions to physical challenges. So because that helped her so much, I incorporated that into what I was doing. And so now I'm working with nutrition plans for my clients and as well as incorporating the oils. It's sort of a whole lifestyle um, makeover, so wow. to speak. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. So, well, great. speaking of makeovers, mm -hmm. John is going to like sort of widen out a little bit here, and we're going to, of course, include no yes. Mystic okay. Mona, Look who has this. appeared. Wait, wait. <laughs> we didn't plan these colors. <laughs> <laughs> we got the primary colors, right? And then we have black, which goes I with just, everything. That's why I did it, right? <laughs> and it's so funny because I've known all of you for years now. Yeah. That's what makes us, it's like old home. I know. Yeah. I love this. Show. Where are the margaritas? I know. <laughs> that's next, coming up. So, of course, we're all going to be talking about looking forward to the new year, yes. things that mm -hmm. we can do to influence our futures in a wonderful way one of the things that I think it unites all three of you is that you're working with energy you're working mm -hmm. with natural energy and a lot of people we've talked about this so many times Mona they have this thing about psychics they think that oh I will tell you your future <laughs> but you've always been very clear about no no we know our future you're the person who brings it out of us okay to let us see well sort of sort of okay so we come in this lifetime, every single person comes in this lifetime with gifts, right. all right? It's our goal to allow these gift, gifts to come through. Most people try and be like everybody else. Well, you know, you can't be like anybody else. They're all taken, right? right? right. So you gotta be yourself, right? <laughs> be you. So the more that you expand into your authenticity, and it can start with simple things. If someone says, oh, you know, let's go have ice cream. I like chocolate ice cream. And instead of going, well, I'm going to have a chocolate ice cream, too, because that's what they like. Right. Oh, no, no, no. I'm having vanilla ice cream with sprinkles. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. It's like it starts with little choices like that. And then as you keep acknowledging and celebrating your choices, you become more authentic. So I actually want to talk about the vibration of 2019 because it's a three-year, which is just Awesome. Look, I was thinking about that. Now, what does the three? Oh years my gosh. Mean? Okay. And what's the difference between like this is like is this numerology or? Well, okay. So 2018 was a master number two year. Okay. Okay. So it added up to 11, which is a master number, but you reduce it to, further to a two. It was the year of partnerships. So great partnerships were formed, right. and some partnerships were released. Okay. In 2018, and whatever happens, you should bless whatever happens because. So if you broke up with your boyfriend or something and you're all mad about it right now it might have been a really good thing yeah dodged a bullet <laughs> <laughs> you're right yeah, good idea. Good. exactly <laughs> exactly so but but what makes 2019 so amazing is two and one and nine equals 12. Okay. you reduce that to a three one and two equals three okay. so it's a three year it's the year for new beginnings, fertility, creativity. So the fact that Debbie has finished sales fuel and the accompanying projects that go with it, in 2018, she can really launch it in 2019 because of the creative energy and force of that new year. Yeah. It's and just so awesome. When we were talking about something like essential oils, which because, you know, I've been woo-woo since, you know, Jesus was a kid. Mm -hmm. In my family, everybody is. So I tend to think that everybody knows about these things. Oh, no. But essential oils, that's still a very burgeoning area. People are just really it's amazing. getting aware of it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, they've been around for thousands of years. Sure. I mean, if frankincense and myrrh were good enough for baby Jesus, like, <laughs> you know, the rest of us need to know about this, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, they're maybe in the last 10 years they've become more mainstream so you know it's it's getting to be more and more known and i think people are looking for alternatives and different ways to manage 
their own health and take control of that. So, right. yeah, so it's a really powerful way to do that. All the tools that yeah. are available. Mm-hmm. So so we have a lot to look forward to. If, if someone out there thinks that, you know, this year didn't really go the way because they had a breakup or things, the plans did not pan out the way they thought they were going to be. Or like you, Debbie, who made actually a pretty major shift. You mm-hmm. had this book and then this book actually launched you in a different direction toward the end of the year. But this next year is when... Everything can come to fruition. It's, it is though it is though your creative energies are all appreciated. So I always tell people for these last days of this year, clear out, purge, get rid of. Your essential oils can be added to every room. They can yes. be added to your pillow. Yes, all right? for sure. Um, sales fuel. People are looking to do something brand new in the new year. Read about it now. Launch it in 2019. Right. Broadcasters. Might be some brand new beginning on the way for you. Right. So um, you just have, like one of the some of the biggest names in radio are going from regular traditional radio to podcasts. Yes. And the reason they're going to podcasts is they're just so accessible. Right. Whenever you want. So you don't have to be listening between noon and three to catch your favorite broadcaster. Mm-hmm. You can now podcast it on your iTunes or Spotify mm-hmm. or iHeart or WWDB TV, depending on wherever mm-hmm. you are. And and. Bring it to your right to your ears when you're working out or whatever. So right. yeah, it, this is the year of creativity. So it's going to be creative living spaces, creative workspaces. I think we're going to see more employers in 2019 allow people to work from home Fantastic. because it's actually less expensive and they get more out of the employee. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like. Well, unless, of course, you have two Akitas who are burping and farting under your feet. Uh, shedding the every time. It's, it's terrible. One of the things that I would recommend, we're going to talk about the books too, but this is a book that Mona gave me this past year, and it was remarkable. Now, I didn't get very far into it, and I'll tell you why. One of the things that she talks about from the very outset is you've got to clear your space. you got to merge, man. I was not aware of how much stuff I have Mm -hmm. until I started doing it. And then I hit a roadblock. Then two very close friends of mine, uh, Denise and Steve Beckwith, just came off, went on this two-month vacation on their RV, decided they were going to come back. They sold the house, and then they had two garage sales. Now, here's the problem. I shopped out of their garage sale so hard, (laughs) I'm going to have to have a garage sale for all the cool (laughs) stuff that they had. But I've known these folks for years the things that they had coming out of the closets and all that stuff. And then I went back to my house and I started purging. I didn't believe the stuff I just had in my garage. It never occurred to me until I started reading the the, uh, nine day energy reset, how much energy was being drained by the stuff I had in my house that I wasn't even using. Right. Didn't even know I had. Right. That old stuff is sucking energy. Yeah. And I so, feel that way too. I'm right. I'm so overwhelmed by like piles of mail and things and you know it's hard to go through all those things mm-hmm. every day on a regular basis. So when I have piles like I really just start mm-hmm. to lose it. How many kids do you I have? Just, I have three. You have three kids. They're all so grown, got, but yeah, but you still you've got all that energy, but you got my all own their stuff, stuff and their and stuff. Their stuff. And okay, I'm sorry. I have a, Michelle, I have a question for yeah. you because I've seen you do a presentation before on yes. on your wonderful products. Yeah. Um your daughter that had cystic fibrosis yes. that has it. Uh-huh. How old is she? She's 24. That's wow. remarkable. Yes. Yeah, she's because yeah. usually children with cystic fibrosis don't make it past their teenage years. She, yeah, so whatever you remarkable. have put her on is she's, outstanding. Yeah, it's a it's a lot. You know, we do a lot and we we work on it a lot. Yeah. So I think, but it's worth her. it. I can tell Absolutely. you, we didn't know each other, but yeah. I used essential uh-huh. oils during my entire recovery oh, process with cancer oh, oh, a great. couple of years ago, and it it, it was wonderful. And of course, mm-hmm. I still use essential yes. oils today. It's very powerful. Mm-hmm. Well, let's talk about essential and the oils energy because, too. on one hand, even when I was first introduced to them as an adult, because mm-hmm. I mean, they, they were always around the house, and so I just took it for granted mm-hmm. that like kids do. They were normal. People they were had, normal. Yeah. Right. Everybody has them, right? No. But um, when I actually started using them for specific things, for specific needs that I had, right. that was the shift. Yeah. That was yes. the power. How do mm-hmm. people identify what they need, what they should reach out for? Well, that's one of the great things that I love this business because I'm kind of a nurturer. Mm-hmm. Um, and so 
um, this isn't like someone buys something and you never speak to them again. I work with those people. I will sit with you and figure out what you need for your body and your particular health challenges or concerns. So, you know, I will sit with you and, and make up a plan and we'll, we'll figure out the oils. And there are some things I do to customize that, but um, I think it's actually, something you need education yeah, on. How do you administer the oils in, in your case? So, what, do you, um, what do you recommend? So, you can use them topically. You can, uh, yeah, doTERRA's wise. oils are so pure that mm -hmm. you can ingest most of them, wow. which is not true of any other essential oils that I know of. Um, so that's a powerful way to use them uh, topically. And then aromatically, like I have the diffuser <laughs> here, so and I've got there. some oil in here that's for, um, for stress and grounding and for um, uplifting the mood and uh, kind of brain fog. So I'm very awake and relaxed <laughs> over here. Maybe you guys are too. <laughs> so it's yeah. wonderful. It smells yeah, great. Yeah, it smells too. great. Yeah, yeah. So, so Debbie, how did you become aware of the essential oils? Do you know when I, I was very uh, open when uh -huh. I found out I had cancer, I let people know. Mm -hmm. And so people reached out to me and a friend uh, reached out and shared with me two or three things that she thought would be helpful. Wow. And I tried those and then it, I discovered that my uh, daughter-in-law was really um, versed in, uh -huh. in uh, uh, therapy with right. essential oils and she gave me a few recipes and recipes by you know Mixing them together. drops in, <laughs> in the diffuser and then I mixed up some um, essential oils with uh, oil uh, like grapeseed oil and put it on topically right. and uh, it, it helped with several different things so uh, stress was a big thing in the very beginning. I was having to make a lot of decisions, and yes. so I used the things that calmed me and mm -hmm. and uh, had the diffuser on during meditation. Right. And then pain relief was another thing. Once I got through surgery and was going through um, chemo, and there were some uh, a combination of oils that right. helped with pain yes. relief. And I. Uh, for everything I did holistically and naturally, I ran it by my my medical doctors sure. to make sure that they, they were that. Yes. comfortable with uh, everything I was doing, and they were thrilled. Yeah. and And they also wanted reports back because they wanted to share with their other patients wow. some of the successes yeah. that I had. Do you run into that a lot? Or because yes. I've heard some stories, people say that their traditional doctors are just very opposed to anything that is not in their little yeah. Well, circle. If, if they if they're not knowledgeable about it, I can understand why they don't feel comfortable recommending it. Um, I mean, I'm not a doctor. I can't tell someone that this is going to cure them of anything. Um, but I can say that the oils have been around for thousands of years and there is support for every body system. So oh. whatever you've experienced, whether it's physical support or emotional, at this time of the year, I think a lot of people are feeling blue and a little anxious. Um, sure. You know, so there's a lot of oils that you can use. I use them as my personal fragrance just in place mm -hmm. of perfumes yes. because mm -hmm. those are so filled with toxins and chemicals you know if you can control you can't control all of the toxins coming into your life maybe out in the air but you can control what puts what you put on your body and into your body as far as food um, you know lotions and things that have chemicals in them that are not good for us your skin is absorbing all of that uh, it's our and, biggest organ and so yeah, yes. yeah whatever yeah. even if you're putting it on topically you're you're taking that into the body and that's not good for you so it's a simple shift to just change um, talking about cleaning out go clean out your medicine cabinet and your your um, you know bathroom cabinets with all of your lotions and body products and look at the ingredients what you have on there yes. if these are things you can't pronounce get rid of them <laughs> well, it's amazing because recently I had you know, a medical challenge where I could not use anything that had alcohol any sort of like just I didn't I could not believe when I had to go shopping mm -hmm. cosmetics uh, it was alcohol and wheat mm -hmm. wheat is in cosmetics wheat is everywhere and when you say wheat we're not talking about wheat like from hundreds of years ago we're talking about the stuff that we're growing now that's been adulterated yes, it's dripping it's just <laughs> ugh. so you've got this fake wheat it's very difficult so for the body wheat, how mm -hmm. bad could that be mm -hmm. then on top of it you have alcohol which is everywhere and everything and then like you said so many when i actually started looking at the labels on my cosmetics and my yes. lotions going what 
is this stuff? This is just this long line of chemicals. We're, we're hearing a lot about this in the food supply, right. Right. but if you take a look at cleaning supplies yes, and all of your, it. your mm -hmm. cosmetics or your even that hey, baby lotion. Vinegar is the best thing to That's use right. on glass. It's uh -huh. fabulous. Plain old vinegar. Yes. There's mm -hmm. a statistic that women are exposed to over 500 different chemicals before they even leave the house in I the morning it. based oh on God. all of our makeup and our skin mm -hmm. care and our hair care and perfume and wow. your cleaning products and just everything you're putting onto so and I, into I your to, body. I have to do a quick aside because yeah. I, I just want to say something really remarkable about Debbie. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Debbie basically finished Super Paras Activated when she was recovering from cancer. Wow. So a lot of the inspiration that she got was through this recovery process that she was doing. And, and the way her book works is, is you concentrate on a superpower for each week. Yeah, Wonderful thing to do in the new year, especially the mm -hmm. year of the creative starting mm -hmm. in January. So mm -hmm. I just had to throw that out there right. because a lot of people don't realize that it was part of her healing was finishing this book. Yeah. It's and funny, I, you, wonder, and I you wonder why these things happen to you, <laughs> right. but you had a mission. And, yeah. and I did feel that way yeah. at the end of the year. I told my husband, I don't know if one person is supposed to read it or a hundred thousand people are supposed reach. to read it but i feel mm -hmm. compelled to publish it mm -hmm. and so it's available on Am That's amazon amazing. you can mm -hmm. buy I'm it going. there <laughs> and, what i love uh, about yeah. it is it's a very simple easy read i have what i love about energy reset as well i have this sort of subliminal like you know, I, I don't want if it's if it's too preachy or if it sounds like it's going to be more work than I can do. But if it's broken down into little incremental pieces, like you can do this little part this right. week or this right. little part that week, I'm much more inclined to do it because that's what the stats show is that most people don't keep their resolutions because they've got these big, huge things that they've got to accomplish. Right. It becomes so overwhelming that then they Scares don't do them. anything. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to break it down, and your book breaks it down beautifully, and it's a fun read too. Yeah. yeah. It's it's meant to be more of a companion than a sit-down novel, and, right. and, and uh, thank you for that. Yeah. And good. I've got to say, Mona, your nine-day energy reset, uh -huh. I had the same yeah, experience that, yeah. Ricky, you had. Mm -hmm. the, I read it, and, and I, I have to say how I even found out. I've known Mona a very long time, mm -hmm. and I listened in on her radio show, mm -hmm. and the nine-day energy reset was one of the things that she mentioned. And I didn't even know that you had written that book. So I, so I and I figured, well, maybe that's why I was supposed to listen to the show today right. to get that. Mm -hmm. So I'm reading that book and I uh, couldn't start because I had all this stuff that I needed to clear out. Well, see, and what's so amazing yeah. is if you know about nine day energy reset now, mm -hmm. you can spend these last whatever days of this year. What day is it? Okay, so what day is it? We say that to our cats. I know. We say that to our cats when they get wet food, so they come from all over the house. Uh -huh. What day is it? Anyway, but um, so you spend the rest of this year. <laughs> we said it to Geico; they didn't care. Um, anyway, so we so you spend the rest of this year getting rid of the inside of our house looks like it's vomited because mm -hmm. I am I am doing the major purge. There's a pile where our Christmas tree is supposed to go mm -hmm. of stuff that's going to be donated. But you spend the rest of this year clearing out. Then on January 1st, you start Nine Day Energy uh, Reset. Yes. Now, when you start it and you stick to it for just nine days, you never have to do it again the rest of the year because it sets the tone. Now, if you want to combine it with Superpowers Activated to continue that process of awareness into all the different vibrations that are illustrated in her book, you could actually combine the two. And it's a wonderful way to put yourself into that receptivity, that awareness, that mm -hmm. gratefulness that draws you everything you need. Right. So, and like yeah. that. And like I said, you know, going from when I started, you know, purging my stuff, then I go to um, Steve and Denise's garage sale and I took <laughs> off more stuff yeah. and I thought how easy it is and so okay guys don't get mad at me but I'm going to say it here on the show for the first time then I had to re-purge from the stuff that I got from their garage sale going, now what are the things that I'm actually going to yeah. use right. because I'm one of those people first of all I can't buy anything in small amounts mm -hmm. of course I'm a not. bargain buyer and uh -huh. then if I don't want it for myself I figure my friends could, should get you it you never have enough toilet right, paper right you know if, I, if it's on <laughs> right. sale somebody's getting it and right. then, but then some of it stays in the house. When I started the purge, I actually had, you know, those big uh, Tupperware, not Tupperware, uh, Rubbermaid. Oh, yeah, containers. yeah, the bins, yeah. I had nine. 
oh, filled I... with crafts that I hadn't even seen. <gasps> there was one that was filled with, I guess I went through this period of hitting the dollar store and getting, I was going to do these things for rescues and I forgot about it. Oh, like the man bags and the, oh, g- the gosh, uh, toiletry bags? Oh my gosh, and oh, I had no. leashes and I had all this stuff and then I had a whole tub full of papers. When was I ever going to scrapbook? Well, I couldn't uh. even remember what my mindset was at that time. But that totally plays into what yeah. you're all saying. How do you create, you know, you have been working on these, actually a way of healing your daughter. Mm-hmm. But in doing that, then it created the space mm-hmm. for you to do this. Because that's a big shift from being in the legal yes. profession right. to doing what you're doing Well, we now. were just saying with your example, like, you know, why do these things come into my life? Like, why, you know, why did I get sick? Or why is my daughter dealing with this? You know, and I, being a lawyer was not, it was fine. It paid some bills, but it, it wasn't my heart to do it. It wasn't, uh, I wasn't nurturing people. And I think that's, what I like to do so it kind of forced me off that path and into a different area and so you know I don't like that my daughter deals with this but I understand maybe that the purpose was to send me to the people I'm supposed to help and I've had more experiences since I've been doing health coaching and working with these oils where I end up in front of the person that I am supposed to serve and and I get chills sometimes where oh, like this person needed this like now Um, and they're ready and it helps them. And when I get that phone call that, wow, something that you gave me made a difference to me, that's why I do it. Well, and I love the interconnection that happens because how I met Michelle was I was hanging out with Leslie Rogers of the Salvation Army. She had been on the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody knows and loves, to know Leslie is to just love her tremendously. And I'm not sure how the conversation even came up. And she said, you have to talk to my friend. I think we talked about Ling Lang. Uh, Uh, Lang Lang. Lang Lang. Yeah. Thank you. And she said, oh, I've got a friend who does these oils and mm-hmm. she is fantastic <laughs> so that's how I met you yeah. and then today getting ready and I called all three of you guys separately had no mm-hmm. idea that there would be this great tie yeah, and, and we knew just each other. when you all got here I thought well let's just have everybody on the show together because yeah. it's all about the energy that each one of you brings and that you spread because mm-hmm. I know all of you and then I know a ton of people who know all of you right. and so your energy that's going out there is just amazing. Like, are you aware of it sometimes when you're doing your thing that you've got this ripple effect? Okay, I could ask you the same question. Uh-huh. But I, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could ask you the same question. Are you aware of what you're putting out there? That's a wonderful. Mm. That's just a wonder. Sure. There, there's a there's the silliest movie that I happen to watch over Thanksgiving called I Heart Huxabees. Oh, how is that? Have you ever seen it? No, but okay. I've read about it's, it. It's got. Have you seen it? Oh my God. Johnson. Oh, okay. Johnson. It's John's nodding his head. It's got Lily Tomlin and it's got Dustin Hoffman in it, and they play existential um, coaches. All right. So they go into your life and they basically start culling away your bull crap. Right. <laughs> Well, there's a question in there that they repeat that I say it in to myself and it makes me laugh. And the and the question is, how am I not myself? Ooh. And so when it, the the funny thing is is that they look at each other in this one scene and they keep saying it back to each other like they're getting their own epiphany there in the moment, these existential coaches. But the thing is is that that is probably the one phrase out of the whole movie that has stayed with me how am i not myself mm, yeah. so so when you say well gee mona don't you feel it when then when you put this power out there don't you feel it well i could ask you the same question because you have a certain poise there's nobody in the world like ricky cheese mm-hmm. and we all have that we exactly all have that, that there's nobody in the world like energy. michelle there's nobody right. in the world like debbie there's nobody in the world like me sure. there's nobody in the world like you sure. and so so it, it's almost as if you say to yourself, you know the song, you are my sunshine. Mm-hmm. Well, why not change it to, I am my sunshine. Ah. Mm-hmm. But again, how am I not myself? Wow. And when you, when you start looking at it like that, there, there's a feeling of almost release that happens in your yeah. solar plexus because you're actually giving yourself permission to question whatever's working against you that you know you're choosing. Mm. I know. Right. How am I not myself? It's like, 
it's been my ongoing little thing in my head. Look at me. Ooh, crazy. Um, <laughs> it's been going in my head. So so I'm sharing it. Yes. So. Well, and I'm sure when people come to you uh, who aren't aware of their own power, that they're not aware of the influence they have on their own lives, do they come to you expecting that you're just going to tell them exactly okay, what to do? Okay, so I'm not a fortune teller. No. So I don't predict the future, I mean, although... You you're not like I'll, a channel or bringing people I'll, from the other side. No, and I'm not right. a medium. I don't, I don't bring Aunt Betty across. I just don't do that. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do think people get impressions from those who have passed, sure. but on those who have passed timing, not anyone that can say... Oh, I'm gonna call Aunt Betty to you. Um, see what I'm saying? Right. But but if you stay in the same energy, certain things are likely to happen, right. right? So I have, in essence, predicted things, but that's because the person agreed with the energy, mm. and they perpetuated it, and they made it happen. Right. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you agree with the energy, then you make it happen. If you don't with the, agree with the energy, your fear is gonna step up and go, oh hell no, right. ain't gonna right. do it. So you're yeah. actually just helping them bring awareness to themselves that's the whole basis of my reading is yeah. awareness yeah the empress oh Let's yeah the, the empress, empress. Yeah. well that's the number three vibration right. so it is the earth mother it is so it's the it's the it's the card of nurturers uh -huh. it's the card of fertility uh -huh. it's the card of creativity so the fact that you finish sales fuel and you're putting it out there um whether people go to the next level or not to really get to that you know the Debbie Donaldson approach, um, it doesn't matter because you've put it out there and now you have a reputation for sales fuel, mm -hmm. filling your tank, which I really love that. <laughs> <laughs> filling your tank with, with mojo. And you know, and your timing couldn't be better mm -hmm. for your oils. Yeah, and I'm starting something new as well in the coming that. year. Um, I, I've been working with clients to design nutrition plans, um, but I'm doing custom nutrition plans, but there's a new piece to it that involves genetic testing. Huh. Um, you know, we always wonder why one person can eat 10 donuts and nothing happens, and the other person looks at the donut and gains 10 pounds. <laughs> so uh, it's about our genetics. And so if you can test those genetics and find out what is right for your specific body um, based on that, uh, what better way to customize your nutrition to give you a better chance of success so, so in the new year? Because people abandon these resolutions. Like we're talking absolutely. about everybody wants the weight loss resolution and it or the gym or joining a gym and it lasts till the middle of January and they're done yep. they give up and I I want people to succeed and I think you know being able to customize it based on their genetics is going to be a really exciting piece to, to offer. Will the genetics tell you what you're allergic to too? It's not an allergy test so it's going to tell you like if say you're sensitive to sodium it may or I tell hate you green that. bell peppers that are cooked no it won't tell you what you're <laughs> allergic to but it's going to tell you like food types it even will tell you what type of exercise is best for your body That's fantastic. Um, so yeah it's really interesting so yeah. i'm getting ready probably mid-january i'll be seeing people to start doing that yeah nice. so i'm excited well and here again these are the things that people can do to empower themselves and it doesn't have to be an all or nothing because I'm one of those, how I, I'm kind of off the track right now, but the last time I was really working out and my friends and family laughed at me, here's what, what I have to do. I would walk to the treadmill and look at it. Uh -huh. I did that for like a couple of weeks. Uh -huh. I sure did. I looked at it, then I actually dusted it off. Dusted it like, off. Right, that was the next big step. Like a piece of furniture. Right, then by those hanging stuff off of it. Then by week four, five, I actually got on it, I flipped the switch, but part of it for me was mentally getting in the space of just walking to it, mm -hmm. just physically mm -hmm. and emotionally getting set. Because if I had just gotten on it as flabby and out of shape as I was, there, there was no way I was gonna get back on it You have again. to be ready. I had to be ready. Mm -hmm. Then once I did get on it, then it was like a couple of times, <gasps> a couple of times, uh. then I was up to 45 minutes, oh, there you know, at a stretch. Then I got another dog, and that pretty much took, I blame the dogs for everything, you guys know that. But what I'm saying though is that that is the key from what all of you are saying is mm -hmm. that don't put this big, huge burden on yourself because mm -hmm. you're not going to follow right. through. Right. You've got to do it in baby steps is okay. You're, right. not on the, you're not in a race with anybody else but yourself. Exactly. There's no such thing as competition. Right. The people that are meant to find you will find you. Exactly. And I've right. always believed that. 
Mm-hmm. You know, it's so funny. Um, it, there's that whole coincidence is your best friend, paying attention to what just seems to happen in the moment. And so we had friends over, and um, and I said to my friend, I go, so I have the six quart crock, crock pot and I have the four quart crock pot. I'm getting rid of the four quart crock pot. I've used it once. She goes, I'll take your four quart crock, crock pot. It's hard to say. <laughs> four quart chest. crock pot. And I went, yay. So yeah. I immediately oh, got it out of the, gave it to her. And it's, it's brand new. I've used it once. Right. But the thing is, is now I have that space, the size of a basketball in my kitchen. So the goal is to have space in every closet mm-hmm. that if I want to put something in the closet, I can do it without knocking anything else over. Wow. Yeah. So seriously. Yeah, John's laughing back there. It's not like yeah. a balancing act. Right. But yeah. it, like I said, you know, the, the house really looks like it has vomited on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we have to get it done by this weekend because then we have company coming. Mm-hmm. So we have to get it done. Yeah. And that means my husband will be taking two truckloads to Goodwill, mm-hmm. getting our little tax receipt. But some of the stuff we're getting rid of is really cool stuff. Yeah. Is this like feng shui at all? Like, do you believe in that? Well, okay. The more space you have the more the flow of the chi is mm-hmm. in your house. So I've studied a little bit of feng shui, mm-hmm. not enough to be like professional or right. just enough to be dangerous about it. Like <laughs> like I can read palms, but just enough to be dangerous uh, about it. Tarot is my specialty, yes. but I pick up energy by people as soon as, soon as I meet them. But, but the thing is, is that is that if you can just make space in every closet so you can put something in it, the something that'll go in it is better than the something you took out of it. Mm-hmm. So my goal in 2019, because of the creative energy, is to wear less black. Ah. Because I, I usually always wear black pants, which that's not that doesn't count. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking about <laughs> just yeah, the seriously, top. that doesn't count. That makes my butt look smaller. So, but but I my goal in 2019, and it's a little shift, uh-huh. is to wear bright colors. Mm-hmm. And so I was going to wear black today. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then I was going to wear red today. That's my today. natural go-to. Oh, oh, wait, yeah. it, but I was going to wear red today. See? Okay. And then, and then I was going to wear purple today. I had three different tops on. Okay. And I went, I'm going to go with blue. And now, here we are sitting here. Primary <laughs> colors, right? You mix any all. of these colors. They make all the other colors. And black, mm-hmm. which is your base Somebody and your fountain. Well, <laughs> your base and your fa- Of course, the yeah. tiniest so person here is wearing black. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Well, and I had the same thing because I, I never really know when I go on air and, and people laugh at me. I always have at least three outfits in my car. Right. Well, one reason is because... I've got a lot of real estate, and so if I lean up against anything, that that outfit's done. Real it's estate, right? You know. <laughs> and so I've got to have something. And then there's the that. real estate, you know. Yeah, you better eat and soup. Exactly, you know, it's like this is my bib. And then I have the other two, which are the colors. Yeah. I don't know what color I'm going to want to wear until I actually get into the studio and I see my guests. Mm-hmm. When I got here, I was I thought, okay, maybe uh, maybe the pink, but then I saw your red. I thought, and I can't do the pink, but then I really didn't like the pink. I thought. I'll do the yellow. I thought I'm going to look like a bumblebee, but that's okay, because I just felt yellowy. But I'm the same way. I mean, it's taken mm-hmm. me a long time to start wearing colors, because mm-hmm. black is my go-to. It's yeah. easy. You except, throw it on. It's except, easy. Ricky, you look amazing when you wear color. Yeah. I almost you, wore, I almost wore this color green, this and yellow. that would have been oh, bad. No, that would have been wrong. <laughs> I don't <laughs> color blue. Oh, how mm-hmm. funny. See, yeah. we're all having that same thought. Uh-huh. And it's a part of it, the holidays, too, I think, that we all kind of want to... It's getting caught up in the festive, festive spirit. Yeah. Who's going to really want to just wear just like brown or something? I, right. I, I don't even think I have any brown. Mm. But, oh, um, I have to tell you, there's okay. a top that I loved yeah. that was brown. Uh-huh. And, and I thought it looked great on me because it brings up, because my eyes have a lot of color in them. So when I wear brown, they actually kind of turn green. But on camera, it looked awesome awful on me really? so i took uh-huh. everything that i had that was like this deep rich dark brown and i just tossed part of the it. purge I, I went on the purge. yeah <laughs> because i'm telling you i don't even have brown pants because of that now yeah. it's like anyway go figure now yeah. in terms of creativity you guys have found all three of you have found very unique ways of expressing it you've got your radio show and of course you do readings all around town you're very very active in thank different you. charity thank you organizations help of southern nevada they love you, and you oh love them. wow That's a great yeah they're 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 good folk yeah yeah well yeah. they have the only that i'm aware of they have the only teenage homeless youth center shannon west homeless youth center um and what they do is they actually help these teens 
get a job. They get them their right. college ed- or their high school education. Right. They get them in the classes in into junior college if they can. But what they do is they prepare them for life, yeah. mm-hmm. which obviously their parents didn't, or they wouldn't be homeless, right. Right. or they're you know from abusive backgrounds because their parents didn't, because or they wouldn't be homeless. Right. Mm-hmm. So. Um, but they're a wonderful organization, and and yeah, they're they're good people. Yeah, and you yeah. got your radio show, which mm-hmm. is on every week, right? And people can call in and yes. you get one question. This is not like a whole you know <laughs> whole long reading. Well, <laughs> except on New Year's, I'm, I haven't decided if I'm doing this New Year's Eve or New Year's Day yet. Um, but I do a two-hour program where you can ask me what's your highlights of the new year. Ah. And so that's only once per year. As a matter of fact, I have people calling my program going, are you still doing your New Year's thing? Because I'll call back then. You know, I mean, it's like, um, but I moved my program from Sundays to Fridays. Right. Until the end of the year, my program is only 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's very fast-paced. Mm-hmm. And, and I like doing the program. It adds a little credibility to what I do. And so. they can find you how? Oh, Mona.Vegas. So www.mona.Vegas. Okay, so your first show of the new year will be... I haven't decided if it's going to be on New Year's Day or not. Okay. So I might do it on New Year's Day because I think that falls on a Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Tuesday. 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 Right. Okay. Yeah. So whenever... I might do it then, and then I might do it again on Friday. See, so. here's the thing. It's going to be early in the morning at 9 o'clock. How many people are going to just still be well, straggling? <laughs> so, well, it's 9 o'clock Pacific. Pacific time. So um, some of the people that call me are calling me from Australia. They're calling me wow. from New York. Oh, or they're, nice. You know, so I get I, – because I'm on the Internet, there's more of a worldwide presence, mm-hmm. which is very nice. Like, I always thought Debbie should do um, every week a superpower. Where you actually have people call in with their success stories from the previous week. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So they call in, and, you, and and it won't it won't cost you very much to do it. I mean, but you say I'd like to talk about the superpower um, intuition, mm-hmm. right? And you have people call in and tell you their stories of intuition. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's, and that's then they idea. they work on that, and then the next week you say our next week's subject is um, love. All right, whatever, what your big story of love. And then the thing is, is that once you do all 52 weeks, then you can just replay them the following Mm -hmm. year if you want and plug them in at your podcast time. Yeah. Because you have your own, you've got your own program as well. Yes, it's an interview program, Wake Up to the New Rules of I got to be on it. Yes, Mona was on my 100th episode. Yay, me. Yes, and she did a reading for me. And um, And, what was the reading? We... Uh, uh, the new Who's year was well, coming her. in the new year. Yeah, I wanted her to to do a reading f- for the audience, but that was way too broad. And so she said she wanted to do a reading for me. So I was selfish and of took course. the reading and yeah. and broadcast it out there. And mm-hmm. we even did a Facebook watch party. And uh, the producer took all my hundred episode bloopers and put him at the front oh, and nice. it's hysterical because my bloopers are all laughing i just uh, i forget things and then i just burst out laughing. i usually yeah. forget the, my name <laughs> dang i hate it when that happens <laughs> nothing important just one so. thing that you do you're very active on yeah. social is i love your deal of the day uh-huh. because even if i'm not thinking about getting another Wait, how do i get to the deal like, of the day oh, <laughs> well we had that uh, doTERRA does that a, a few times a year mm-hmm. oh um, they have like a BOGO week where you can buy one oil and get a different why am one I for not, free. Why do I not um, know about that? Uh, oh, yeah, so they've, go. they've got a what, what they've is got a f- bunch of things on sale this week up until the twenty second. What's is your great. Facebook page? Um, the Goodness Girl. Yeah. <gasps> All right, I'm gonna totally my, like that. And my website is goodnessgirl.com. So, yeah, so I have information on oils there as well. Awesome. So, and I, um, I try to do some Facebook lives on my my page. So. Yeah, keep people informed and give them little tips on how to use oils or about nutrition or, yeah, everything health-related, lifestyle-related. Yeah. How did you make, what What was the impetus, I'm of course, working with your daughter, but to go mm-hmm. from the oils to actually talking about food, mm-hmm. nutrition, mm-hmm. that's a little bit of a leap, yeah. too. Well, that's... That kind of came first. I mean, that's my passion. Um, I love to do cooking with the oils, and I do a lot of classes. I do them right in my home. Um, I'll do like a brunch, and I'll make a lot of different foods with the oils. And then I put little signs up in front of them, and then I um, I talk about the benefits of the oils that Is this on a eating. YouTube channel? This is in my kitchen. <laughs> but do you do it live? No, on? I oh. don't. But 
I probably should one of these days, but um, yeah, I just I will just do like a little party, and the foods are all made with the oils, and we just yeah we discuss you know how you're getting healthy by eating them. So yeah, when you first said that to but, me, I was like sort of taken aback because I just recently started using coconut oil. Um, mm. I had Amy Clatterbuck from the Clatterbuck Inn. She yeah. works with uh, medically challenged no alcohol in that puppies, not a bit. <laughs> and um, she told me about coconut oil to help. The yeah. skin and I kind of heard about it and I thought okay I'm gonna try it on my puppies mm -hmm. well the reason I say they're puppies but you guys know they're like yeah. five and six years old they're, they're beasts 100 like, pounds. Yeah, they're yes. like 250 pounds uh -huh. together but she was using it on these puppies that had just terrible skin conditions it's great for the when skin. I saw them a few weeks later it was amazing coconut oil yeah. natural no chemicals coconut oil you can actually take um, for any kind of skin eruption you can use coconut oil and then you can put essential oil of melaleuca or lavender so the melaleuca will help with any type of fungus uh, and the lavender is very calming to the skin so you can add that to your coconut oil for even more benefits now, when you tell but people internally that you can it's great cook with these things yeah. you can actually drink them yes. you were the first person i met yeah. who actually talked well, about I wouldn't, ingesting them i wouldn't recommend doing that with anything but doTERRA's right. oils because i trust them and i know that they're tested um, and they're but certified to be pure yeah if you go to walmart right. and buy an essential oil that's not some of them are very toxic. Yes, right? and in yeah. fact, those yeah. will say for external use only. Mm -hmm. So I would rather have someone not even spend the lower mm -hmm. price to do that. Just to get don't what you pay don't for. buy it because it's not mm -hmm. it's not going to be safe. Mm -hmm. And I mean, safety is the big thing. Of course, if you're going to use this, you want the benefits. You don't want to have to create more problems by using something right. unsafe. So um, so these are ingestible. And yeah, the cooking, I've replaced all the spices in my spice rack. I now have just a little rack of oils and they don't expire like the spices. So uh, if I went to use my oregano that I bought two years ago, it now has no smell. Um, you know, it's no, no value in that anymore. So I can use my oil in place of it. Uh, it's just as good today as it was two years ago. So I love that. And you need such a tiny amount because they're so concentrated. They're 50 times more potent than dried herbs. Well, one of the things that you actually said, this was a presentation from a year yeah. ago, and you were selling little tiny vials of peppermint oil. And I <laughs> yeah. got one. And you said that if you're struggling with getting a cold, put just a little uh, drop of peppermint uh, oil right here. Uh, Better than Vicks Vapor up. Because it helps clear the sinuses. Opening, yeah. But it's also invigorating. Mm -hmm. So, And then I told you the yeah. story that I put a whole vial of peppermint oil in my bathtub once. Well, that wasn't oh. good. Yeah. How, did, how did that work out? Well, because it was when I, this was years ago when I was dealing with yeah, really painful. major hot flashes. Mm -hmm. So someone told me, put some pe put some peppermint mm -hmm. oil in your bathtub. Mm -hmm. So I thought, oh, I put the whole vial in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It oh, was yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Oh, yes. Went a long way. Oh, my God. And if, yeah, and if you use the oils, make sure you wash your hands like before you use the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Another. I'm really, just telling you, <laughs> really helps. It was uncomfortable. Right? Yes. 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 Yeah. I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure. You know, when you were talking about <laughs> coconut oil, and yeah. before we were on camera, we were talking uh -huh. about frankincense. Yes. That for scar tissue, mm -hmm. I developed a lot of scar tissue. I'd had yeah. several surgeries uh, mm -hmm. through my um, uh, dealing with mm -hmm. uh, breast cancer and. Coconut oil with frankincense and lavender uh, in a massage, and and then uh, massage the way my yeah. doctor showed me how to massage broke that scar tissue. It all does up. help fade scars. Wow! Yeah. Wow! And so that made the reconstruction surgery much easier. Yes. And my skin and scar tissue was much more pliable. Yeah, I've known some people with burns um, using mm -hmm. frankincense to help regenerate. It's very powerful for the wow. skin. Um, now, what yeah. you're doing for entrepreneurs with, and we can't reveal because you have to go and get her free ebook. <laughs> and how I'm do they get that it. really quickly? <laughs> Freesalesfuel.com. Okay. So, one of the things I find remarkable about you, and just the short time we've known each other, is you get the idea and then you put it into action. But it's always neat to talk to someone else who's walked in the path that right. you want to go down right. so that you know not to get scared. I mean, I know that I can look back and see a lot of people have helped me in my career because I didn't really, I knew what I kind of wanted to accomplish. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to get there. I needed somebody to go, okay, Vicki, this is the next thing you might want to continue doing. Like you were just sharing about her, uh, about Michelle doing podcasts or doing YouTube, other yeah. ways of doing mm -hmm. YouTube. Right. So mm -hmm. this is the magic of what you're putting together for them 
with this fuel sales is this is how you fill your tank. You know, you can right. have the idea, but this is how you get the motor going. Mm -hmm. It's kind of how you get started with influence marketing. The biggest question that I have gotten from the, the people that I interact with is uh, the question that you guys were asking each other, do you know how many people you know, know you and, and how many people are following you? And, and of course, social media makes that very clear how many people are following you. I maxed out on my personal profile this year <laughs> and wow. had to start a page and it's already larger than my original wow. profile nice. and, and my uh, new page is Debbie Donaldson Live. Mm -hmm. And so that might be the perfect place to do that weekly well, podcast. Because with the, the, the neat thing sure. about it is it only it doesn't have to be a whole hour. Right. It can be ten minutes. It or could be fifteen long minutes. It is and you could you could just you could just record one success story from one of the people mm -hmm. that's in your vast network mm -hmm. on that particular subject and then they get to promote their business so you get to still act as a the hostess right. um, but you know you talk about the superpower of intuition and you because I gave you the idea you'll have me on first <laughs> and we'll talk about that but then you'll also talk about um, all of your I mean there's 52 of them right so yeah. all you have to do is think of 52 people for each week. Yeah, and only 52 of them made it into the book. I actually oh, had there were 77. Oh. People were shocked, are shocked when I tell them, but people That's don't the think of <laughs> things. Well, they don't think of words, this typical words, as a superpower. Uh -huh. But what was happening through the, the year that before I had written the book is that I was actually writing it without knowing I was writing it. At the end of the day, I was writing about someone who would impress me or an event that uh, exchange with someone and I would I realized when I wrote uh, read what I had written that that was their superpower mm. I mean a super someone who mm. took a meeting that was going badly and got everyone working together I had written transformer that day uh -huh. because that person had transformed a really negative environment into something Productive. profound and positive mm, right. and people don't think of that as their person as their personal because to them it's just so natural like what, what we were saying earlier was your unique gift because it is you right you don't often see what other people see my mother used right. to always say you have to walk in someone else's shoes and you have to see yourself the way other people yeah, people see are so you. hard on themselves oh, they right. don't it's very hard to oh, recognize can beat your you up like you can talents. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we're all so yeah. good at it right yeah, exactly. and so I can see also this tool for you in terms of because one of the things that kept me from really getting into essential oils mm -hmm. again was because I just didn't know enough about right. each one mm -hmm. so I've got like the five I kind of mm -hmm. know uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. and then yeah. so I'm comfortable with those I kind of know right. and I'm lazy about finding out more about yes. the ones I don't. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that would be a great tool of getting people like mm -hmm. me say, you know, here's one yeah. you may not have heard of, but these are all the qualities. Yeah. And this is what it could do. You might want to try it. Yeah, and I also find that sometimes people will will get maybe 10 oils and then they find one way to use each one. But there's so many ways to use each one. So you know, just constant right. education is, you know, I give them the tools initially to learn uh, the basics, but there's so much more. And sometimes you discover things. Um, there's an oil called Immortel. Um, I love the name. It's an anti-aging blend. Oh, well, let's try um, that. So, yes. So we all, we all need one. It's like a, it's a little roller. I'll take a bath in that yeah, one. I know. <laughs> I know. So I, I love it, but surprisingly, the oils that are blended in that oil in that oil blend is um, really helpful for respiratory support so my daughter has used it on her chest and gotten some relief so wow. you know it's funny how one will just kind of come up and y you know you start to get a little more intuitive about what your body's looking mm -hmm. for and what you need so uh, it's really interesting how how they can work but just education education education, education. <laughs> and John's educating yeah. us he's giving us that time like wrap it up ladies <laughs> it's been such a fascinating talk so let's kind of go down the line once again people who you got the thing coming up for New Year's and right. people want to get a, a, just an in-person reading oh, all kinds of ways to yeah. get in contact Mona with Mona Vegas. Yeah. yeah just Google Mystic Mona you'll Mystic find it yeah. yes and and then they can come in for a reading right. and get a private one, but they can also contact you through your yes. radio show. Yes, and I can do phone sessions too, so Ooh, that I love works. That. Oh yeah, people like that. It's very convenient. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, let's get right to, have it. to drive. And you, Debbie, your new book. 
my new book. You can find it at freesalesfuel.com. Or you could just go to my Facebook, my new Facebook page, Debbie Donaldson Live, and there you can click on it too. And be really, be fast about this because the girl's so popular, she's running out of space. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Michelle, if they can contact you. Yeah, um, my, um, my website is goodnessgirl.com. Uh, my Facebook page is The Goodness Girl. <laughs> and um, there's always email. Yes. But, you know, healthy chick 22 at Gmail. <laughs> and if you've got to learn more, they can actually Call come me, and email. maybe take part in some of the cooking demonstrations. Yes, I mean, have, I'm. I would love to do that. I'm to find that how always. I can I'm. Do that. Yeah, I'm happy to meet with anyone who needs help with essential oils for anything from trouble sleeping to aches and pains, anxious feelings, anything like that. Um, and then designing the custom nutrition plans, um, whether it's based on your body weight, um, exercise, or it's based on your genetics. Um, I'd love to help people with that too. So That's yes. fantastic. All of these different avenues. You have and Ricky, with. how do people get a hold of you? Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> um, I'm Ricky Queso. Okay, I've got two pages yeah. because Facebook will not, on a personal page, they don't believe that anyone is actually named Cheese. Mm -hmm. So the only one of my family members who can actually do Cheese is because he hyphenated my sister-in-law's name. So Facebook recognizes Vasquez Cheese, but oh. none of the rest of us can be Cheese. We're all C-H-E-E-Z-E -E -E <laughs> or some sort of weird configuration. And so because half of my sister-in-law are Hispanic, mm -hmm. I went with Queso on my personal page. <laughs> yeah. But they figure anybody can make up a crazy name on your per, on mm -hmm. professional page. Right. So I can be Ricky Cheese on my professional page. Got so it. just know that if there's some <laughs> configuration of cheese, you can find me there on Facebook, Twitter. I'm going to get more uh, on Instagram. I kind of got so away from do Instagram. You, do you have a Twitter handle? I have a Twitter handle. What it's is Las it? Las Vegas Ricky C. Ricky C. Okay. Mm -hmm. Las Vegas so Ricky C. Cheese, but Ricky's there somewhere. Okay. But yeah, you can find me on all of those. R I K K I. R I K K I. Ah, yes, mm. please do. <laughs> and please make sure you log on here to www.dbtv.com. We've got all kinds of great shows and ladies like this. We kind of shuffle around too. You'll see us on different shows here oh, on yeah. the station. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We like to share the wealth here at WWDBTV. <laughs> and of course, you can always contact either of these ladies here through the, our website, our station website. And of course, all of our shows are broadcast, put up on YouTube and Roku. And you can find us anywhere, anytime, whenever you feel like it. We hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful end of the new year of this year, going into the new year. And now you've got all the tools to make whatever you want to have happen, happen for you. So stay safe. I'm looking forward to a great new year. See you next time.